Hi, it's Martin Perhiniak. Welcome back to PSD Touch Plus. Today, I'm going to talk about how to work with the Move tool. Now, first of all, <laughs> the Move tool is fairly simple to work with, but if you have lots of layers in a Photoshop document, you will find that the Move tool can help you a lot by finding uh, the layers that you are looking for. So it's not only the layers panel where you can select and uh, find and select layers, but you can also use the Move tool for that. First of all, you can right click anywhere in the on the image or here in the work area and then whichever layer you overlap with your mouse you can see all those layers and then you can select the one that you need to work with but that's just one way to work the way i prefer to work is holding down the command and using the auto select feature now let me show you how it works just very simple i will turn off a couple of layers here and uh, I would like to only select this main title here on the top, Nature Photo Magazine. Now, if I have the option for the auto select feature set to layer, because the default is group, but if I select the layer option, then I hold down command and click on the Nature uh, Photo Magazine. Then as you can see now, it's selected. So if I turn that layer off, you can see we've selected that layer. Let me try to command click on this layer here, the free online photo magazine. If I turn it off, you can see that's the one selected. So I haven't had to look for it in these lots of subfolders and subgroups. I just simply clicked on it. Let's try it again. Command click on this image. And if I turn it off here in the layers panel, you can see it works. So even without digging down into the layer structure, we can just simply use this auto select feature. Now, if you have the auto select feature turned on here on the top, you don't even have to press command. So the move tool will automatically try to select the images that you want. So as you can see, I'm clicking on these images here and in the layers panel, uh, it automatically selects those layers. So the move tool will automatically select them. If I choose group, then the move tool will automatically select the group where the selected layer is stored. So for example here, because all of these layers are in the same uh, group, it won't make much difference. That's why I prefer to use auto select with layer. And the reason why I have the auto select turned off most of the time is because sometimes it can get in the way. So it saves time, but it can also get in the way. And what I prefer to do is to use the command or control on PC keyboard shortcut to, to be able to use uh, this feature. But let me show you another very useful feature, which again, I use a keyboard shortcut for, and that is under the layer menu. And here you can find the option called show or hide layer. As you can see here, I already have a keyboard shortcut assigned to it, F3, but that's not a default option. If you want to use that, you need to go to the Edit Keyboard Shortcuts and then find it under the Application Menus, Layer, and then here if you scroll down, you will be able to find the option almost at the bottom, Hide Layers or Show Layers. It's the same feature. So I assigned F3 to it, which means if I use the move tool and I command click on any of the layers and then I press F3 I can turn it off and on again easily so that saves a lot of time and literally I don't even have to look at the layers panel I just simply always click on what I need to turn off and on for example I want to turn off the the title and I can easily do that by using these two keyboard shortcuts. So the auto select, command or control with the move tool, and then F3, which is my custom uh, show or hide layer keyboard shortcut. And last but not least, I would like to also show you that if you want to go a step forward and you want to select more layers at the same time with the auto select feature, you can do that as well. If you hold down shift together with command or control, so command shift in my case, click and drag over these layers here. And then if I press F3, you can see they are all going to disappear. Now, because I had a selection before, I want to make sure that there are no layers selected. I'm going to go to select and choose deselect layers. 
and then use the command shift together with the move tool and select these layers and as you can see while I'm dragging over them you can already see it here in the layers panel that I am doing uh, the selection so now if I press F3 I can turn them off or I can turn them on again if I want to get rid of something from the selection I can just simply command shift click on it these two images to make sure they are not included in my selection so that is a really fast way to add more layers at the same time to your selection or remove uh, from your selection so for example if I now command shift click and drag over these layers they will be also added to my selection if I want to remove this again command shift click and then it's removed and now I only have these selected here on the top and now just so you know we selected probably around 25 layers at the same time so instead of going through that in the layers panel it's much easier uh, by using the move tool of course you can always group your layers and then you can use that structure to be able to get to the layers quickly but most of the time you can combine layer grouping and using the move tool just to save time and that's all what I wanted to show in this tutorial. I hope you will join me next time as well. Thanks a lot for your attention.